given that a is equal to 333 to the power 555 plus 555 to the power 333, then a is divisible by dash. See, how can you write 333 in terms of its factors? 333 is nothing but 3 squared into 37. Right. Similarly, uh, what is 555 in terms of its factors? 555 is nothing but 3 into 5 into 37. This is 555. So, when I find out the value of 333 to the power 555 plus 555 to the power 333, right? The answer that I get is definitely going to be divisible by 3 and 37 right see why is that what is 333 to the power 555 again if i write it in terms of its factors it is nothing but see this is 333 is nothing but 3 has 3 squared into 37 right 3 squared into 37 whole to the power 555 plus 3 into 5 into 37 whole to the power of 333 right this is going to be my when i expand it this is what i get in, when i write it in terms of its factors okay or this is nothing but 3 to the power of 1110 into 37 to the power of 555 plus 3 to the power of 333 into 5 to the power of 333 into 37 to the power of 333. So, anyway, this answer that I get is definitely going to be divisible by 3 and 37, right? Because 3 and 37 is there in both the terms. So, definitely the answer that I am going to get is going to be divisible by 3 and 37. Now, so, obviously, you know the answer now is going to be all of these, right? But I also have to say that this answer that I am going to get here is going to be divisible by 2. How do I say that? See, uh, if you look at 333 to the power 555, right? Now, if you look at the answer, uh, with what number will this answer end? See, what, what is the unit digit of this power 333 to the power 555? See, I know that if you look at the number 3, right? 3 to the power 1 ends with 3. 3 squared ends with 9, 3 cube ends with 7, 3 to the power 4 ends with 1. And this cycle keeps repeating for the number 3. So, so when you look at 333 to the power 555, what be the last digit of 333 to the power of 555? See, which is the closest multiple of 4 near 555? It is nothing but 500 and 552, right? 552, right? So, 3 to the power 552. So, if you look at 333 to the power 552, the last digit of that will be 1. So, if you look at 3, uh, 333 to the power 553, the last digit will be 3. So, the next one, 554 to the power 554, the last digit is going to be 9. So, similarly to the power uh, 555, the last digit is going to be 7. So, the last digit of this is going to be 7. Now, next similarly look at what will be the last digit of 555 to the power 333. Obviously, anything, any power of 5 will end with a 5. So, the last digit of this is going to be 5, right? So, this is the last digit of this is going to be 7 and the last digit of this is going to be 5. So, what is 7 plus 5? 7 plus 5 is 12 or this one gets carried over to the next step. So, the last digit of this sum is going to be 12, right? Basically, it's going to be an even number or I can say when I'm adding 2 odd numbers, the answer that I get will obviously be even, correct? So, I know for sure that this sum is going to be divisible by 2. So, that's how I say that this sum is divisible by 2. So, here this given sum is divisible by 2, 3 and 37. So, what is the correct answer that we are looking at? The correct answer is going to be all of these. The given number A is divisible by all of these given numbers, 2, 3 and 37 because 3 and 37 are already factors of the given sum and 2 because here we are adding 2 odd numbers, obviously the answer that we are going to be getting is an even number, so it is going to be divisible by 2 also. Correct answer is option D, all of these.